here's a quick little way that you can set up PowerPoint. So to be a game. So here you can see that I've got my kind of hangman and I've got my words here. And if I click on A, you'll notice that the A will appear. And if I click on B, you'll notice that the head will appear of the person, you know, for my hangman. So how do you go ahead and do this? Well, one of the things that you want to do is just set up, you know, letters and boxes. So I just did an insert, came to shapes, did the shape, just did a shape like that. And then I just filled it with white and then I made the outline black. And then I decided that I was going to format that shape and give it a little shadow. And I just used a preset shadow. So boom, there we've got the item. And then all you do need to do is you go to insert and you go to text box and then you would create the letter. And obviously you're going to have to make the letter bigger. That one's way too small and you know, like 48 or whatever. So that's basically how you create letters. Pretty straightforward. So once you have that, create a letter, then you're going to be like, well, how do I make things appear? So you're going to have to do all of the alphabet and just like, I'll copy these, copy paste, because I've got a lot of the alphabet, you know, X, and then I just need Y and Z, right? Y and Z would be the final two of my alphabet. So I just make the first column and then make Y and Z. Now to get things to appear or disappear, so I have the head right now appears as we've seen if I click a wrong letter B. And so this is a setup because basically I'm not going to have any creature here, any person here until I get them all wrong. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab my D and I'm going to grab my D and I'm, I'm, and both of the D's, I'm going to make sure I, I got it. Oops, the D and then the D and these are going to appear. So I'm going to animate. I'm going to have them appear and they're going to appear when I click on this D. So what I'm going to do, you see the text box A and, and um, 9 and 10 for D. I'm going to go timing. Uh, make sure you have animation pane. So you need animation pane. You get that done timing. And then timing, there's effect, there's text animation. We want timing and we want a trigger. And the trigger is we're going to start on the effect on the click of, and we're going to go find D. So we're going to go down here and we're going to look for D. And it's not 9 and 10 because those are the first ones that I did. I want D as part of the alphabet. So it's way down here, text box 26, and I hit OK. So now when I click on D, notice those two items appear. So it's based on a trigger. But that's still not doing anything for my hangman. So what I'm going to do is maybe I click on the arm, and I want that to appear. And when do I want that to appear? Well, I'm going to have that appear when I click on C in this particular case. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go and I'm going to find C. And it's way down here. There's C and then I hit OK. So now if I go back and I go, uh, OK, B, no, that's wrong. C, no, that's wrong. Uh oh, now we have two of them. So you would do that for the whole thing. So I would take this and I'm going to have this appear. I'm going to have this appear perhaps. Uh, whoops, I'm going to have this appear. Uh, whenever I do, uh, you know, um, maybe uh, E. So I, I might want E to be my item. And I wonder if I click the right thing. Let's go ahead and see that. Maybe not. Um, so uh, I think that was E I said. Yep, click E and E appears. Uh, D and the two Ds appear. C and that appears. Now, the thing that you have to do here is you have to have a, no, a, a number of items for the alphabet. So I've got 26 letters in the alphabet. I got my Addy, which is five letters. So night, I might need 19 parts for my hangman. So you're like, geez, where do I get 19 parts? Well, you could go ahead and you can insert um, a shoe. So there's a little shoe and you can make that, you know, maybe uh, fill that with black. So he's wearing a black shoe. And I'll just copy that, paste it over their shoes. And maybe a shoe will appear. Maybe I want the shoe to appear. Uh, let's say with the F, right? So I'll go into uh, animation. So look, there's my animation and I want the shoe to appear. And when do I want it to appear? I want it to appear based on clicking the trigger of F. So I'll go down here and I'll look for F, A, B, C, D, E, F. There's my F, okay, and I click on okay. 
And now that F and, and G would be the next one. So appear again. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to go my options. And I'm going to go trigger. And I'm going to go F. So I'll go down here, A, B, C, D, E, F. There's F. I click on OK. And now you can see it's starting to come together. So um, if I click A, I get my letter. But if I click C or I click E or I click F, oh, F, I click G. Oh, uh oh, so one of these I didn't get right. Um, so let's go back and say, okay, hmm, what did I do wrong here? Then I might want to um, see this particular trigger. Like, let's 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 view this right. So I want this to. Um, timing and then I text box F so that's okay uh, start the effect and the click of F so click here F oh I need G is the next one so one of the ones so F is okay but G is not so let's click on this item Let's see if we do that with G. This works. So A, B is not good, C is not good, F, and G. There we go. So that's how you would create your hangman. And if I clicked on D, D would come. And then, you know, I still don't have I and E created yet, but same thing. I would click here on I. I would make it appear based on an animation timing trigger find my trigger this triggers i make sure you get the right i because there's two i's in here abc e f g h i there it is i okay and now you can see that so a good b oh, i've got my head d okay that looks good f mm, shoe G shoe. So that's that's how you would do that. And you would just go ahead and create your figure like that. So hopefully uh, that gives you the information you need to go ahead and um, create a quick little hangman game. Uh, the tricky thing is, you know, just getting enough figures for your a hangman. But if you wanted to, you could always do things like um, shapes. So you could, you know, shape the kind of the noose if you wanted to make that look like a little thicker. You know that and then you know draw another one and you know oops uh draw another one and you know you could have the stand where you're gonna have the hangman you know so you can do all kinds of stuff for for your creature so um uh that's how you create the game so hopefully that'll uh, give you some help if you have any questions let me know